Derek, uh, first of all, just explain to us the sort of the, the purpose of the shadow board and, and the changes that have been made uh, over the last few months. Yeah, no problem. Uh, shadow board that's that's evolved from the old supporters board. It's uh, we, we've adapted there. We followed the part from the the national led review, which came as uh, out out of a government uh, a government led thing. Uh, but we have moved from being a shadow with, from the supporters board to the shadow board. Uh, uh, we've, we're following the national format, and Donny Rovers, I'm glad to say, is one of the the national leaders of that. I think we're one of about seven or eight clubs which have followed that format so far and it's all going good what's the purpose of the shadow board then would you say i would say it's about holding the club to account it's about making sure that they get the, the business side of the club right um we want to make sure that hopefully there, there'd be no losses like when the club went to, down to league two on loan then we've uh, we wanted to ensure that there were no redundancies at the club. Uh, we wanted to look after the staff, and we made sure that the standards for us as fans they they were maintained by Donny Rovers at a League One level at least. Just give us a bit of background then in terms of the supporters board. You were obviously involved in, in, in that as well for for a number of years. What what some of the things that the supporters board have been able to to do? Because it's a, a similar sort of thing holding the club to account. This just kind of formalises it a bit more. The, the shadow board. Yeah, it does. Uh, the the club and as an example, the club would come to us with ideas about uh, what they got for. Um, ticket structure in season tickets for this year. Uh, the club are fantastic. They sat down, they listened to ideas from uh, the shadow board. Uh, they went away with the idea of uh, looking after the black bank, or the, the cop area as we would call it. And they listened to the ideas that the board put forward uh, and they went away. Uh, they did some more homework uh, and they came back and they were more than happy to accept the ideas that the shadow board had, had offered the club as a was another idea and they've worked very closely with us how would you describe the the kind of makeup in terms of the people that, <clears throat> that are involved oh yeah it's, it's it's immensely diverse we have uh people on there very old ones like me uh sit in the west stand we've got people who will be in in, e in each stand uh we have got youngsters we've got uh people on there with with disabilities we have got the uh, women on football in board uh, on board, should I say, uh, we have got people who uh, do the, uh, the the blogging, etc. We've tried to incorporate every format, uh, and the shadow board is more than willing to listen to any reasonable questions uh, that anyone else w wants to throw in our directions. Uh, I, I would think it's going to be very difficult to make the the shadow board any more diverse than what it already is. You've been elected as, as chairman. Talk about what, what that means to you and, and what you're hoping to do uh, as chairman of the Shadow Board. Oh, yeah, I, I must admit it was uh, it was quite an experience. Uh, yeah, when we had the, the interviews, there were myself uh, and my vice, uh, James, uh, we, we, we did the interviews there for it and it was more like something out of question time, to be honest. Uh, I don't think it's what either of us were expecting. I feel very proud to be it. Uh, I've been a, a supporter there for Donny Rovers. Okay, right now, I think this is season 54, 55 or something like that, following my own team. Uh, uh, it's just a generational thing, and I now come along with my, with my dad occasionally, my son and my grandson, and I'm gradually bringing some Lincoln fans along with me as well. So it, it's, it's proud for me, uh, but I, I shall sit in a West Stand and I'll make myself available to anyone who wants to come along and ask reasonable questions about what donks to Rovers. But I promise everyone we will hold the club accountable. But if anyone says that we don't hold the club accountable, then I'm on lots of the social media things. Send me a message and I'll prove you all wrong. I was going to say, I was going to ask you if you've got a message for supporters out there who might have a gripe, a question or anything that they want to put to the board, what what, what can they do? To... Uh, they can uh, follow me. I'm uh, Obviously, I'm Derek Daniels. I'm on the social media. Uh, I'm on Twitter. I'm not like some people. I don't use a pseudonym. Find me on Twitter. Several of the Rovers fans have already found that and send me uh, reasonable questions. And I will answer them in due course. I just ask them to take that into account. 
We all have some form of work. Everyone on the supporters board is volunteers, despite the fact that everything that we hear about us, we are all volunteers. We're all here to work for Donkster Rovers, but we have to work around our uh, hours, uh, the work that we've already got ongoing. But we come here and I'm just very proud to say that everyone on the supporters board does their very best for Doncaster Rovers and we will continue to do so. It's early days for the shadow board in that evolution from the uh, the supporters board. Where are, where do you see it going over the over the coming coming weeks, months uh, and years as well as it as it kind of solidifies? Yeah, good question. You you've got there uh, we're we're in today and we're trying to work through the the process of uh, looking through uh, how we go for, for, for elections, if people wish to come on board, how many people, that the makeup of the board, whether it will be a, a certain number, whether we take on ideas from uh, other clubs, leaders like uh, Brighton, uh, I think Exeter, Norwich City, uh, but we, we want to work with them, but we're not going to jump in and make mistakes. We're going to wait to see what other clubs do, and then we're going to pick the best parts that we think make makes for Dunkster Rovers. It's no good pretending we're a, a Premier League team, but the only th the Premier League thing we are, the shadow board will be Premier League standard because we will pick the parts that best suit for the fans of Dunkster Rovers on the shadow board for, for the club we all proudly support. And you yourself and your fellow members, you're going to be quite prominent out there and, and, and available to, to speak to. Oh, oh yes. Uh, anyone who doesn't know me, uh, I'm regularly on Radio Sheffield. I'm, I'm, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm of a certain age where I'm not constantly on my phone. But... Um, with the guidance there from Mrs. D. Uh, she shows me how to do all those sorts of things uh, and ask, but all I ask is we will remain polite. If people ask a sensible question, they will get a sensible answer. If they don't want a sensible answer, then don't even bother asking a question, but we will remain polite and I would say manners cost nothing. 